Welcome back. If you saw my last video, I went over five things that I didn't like about the Tesla. And the first thing I mentioned was closing the front and how you have to put your hands all over it to close it. Well, today we're solving that problem. Okay, I have the page open for the electric trunk Mark III. That's the waterproof design. And we have all the instructions here. You got your packing list, your tools, and step one. Lay out all your tools that you need. You got a screwdriver, electrical tape, pliers, and your 10 and 13 millimeter attachment. You also need an extension on here to get into some of the spots there. Okay, this is exactly how it came. You have your pistons, obviously motorized. You've got your cables. A lot of these are splitters, it seems like, and you're going to disconnect the OEM cable, plug it into one of these ends, and then they get routed around uh, through the, into the control unit, which is here. So this is a waterproof model. So it doesn't need any sort of bag around it like the old ones did. This is going to get routed to the front to uh, have a manual release. This is the motor itself, which will open and close it. And these here are going to replace uh, where the struts attach to. Oh, I know this is one of the earlier steps. I'll put it over by the pistons. So this video is not meant to be a tutorial on how to do it all. I'm gonna just kind of give you the overview. There's a lot of videos online. You can go to Tesla Offer. They have a installation video. So we're gonna speed it up a little bit and we'll slow it down when I got something important to tell you about. To start off, we have to take the maintenance panel off. Not sure what this part is called, but you gotta take that off as well. Now there, there's seven bolts, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out all seven. Ok, 
Okay, now we're trying to attach, to secure the motor to the frame somewhere. This here is the motor, and here are the two holes, one and two, and I just zip tied it on, on there, so it's pretty secure. Okay, so we disconnected the OEM plug over here that runs to the mechanism that opens this. So we took this out, grab our other set of wires here, and it's basically a splitter. So this is going to go where the OEM plug was, and the OEM plug goes in here. Here is just basically another splitter that we're going to install, same as just before. Alright guys, here's the moment of truth. Everything is connected. I'm going to come back and tidy up all the wires. out the struts just needed a little coaxing for the first time. Let me show you. I just had to give the hood a little, a little push for the first time. Let's press the emergency release you can see it close. Now I believe this is on speed four, and six is the fastest. We're definitely gonna speed it up. We can do it from the phone. Let's see if we can close it from the phone. Sure can. There's adjustments inside if it goes down too deep, but that looks just about right. Okay, so let's adjust the speed. So you hold down on this button here, press and hold it. Oh, let go. One beep is the slowest. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So now it should be on the fastest speed. That's a little better. Okay, much better. So I think this is a huge improvement for the Tesla Model 3. I would add this to my must-have accessory. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but it's well worth it. As you're walking up to the car with your, with your groceries, you guys might have seen in a previous video, we put these clips in. Put your grocery bags there. When you get back in the car, you can just hit the close trunk. Let me show you. So you hit the open button to close it.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a game changer for me. This was one of my complaints. There's a link in the description below, which will give you guys a discount if you want to get one for yourselves. Please like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. I appreciate everything that you, you guys have done. Until the next video, drive safe.